Hey there. So in this video, we're gonna cover what to include in a SaaS proposal or how to structure your SaaS proposal and also how you can get started with Quilla's template um, so that you can sell your SaaS services more easily and streamline how you pull together proposals for active deals. So within the template itself, we've included a lot of key sections that you'll typically find in a really strong SaaS proposal. So often there's an executive summary, an overview of the business challenge that you've heard during discovery with the prospect, key priorities that you've heard, and we suggest doing these as collapsible sections so that you can showcase a little bit more information for those technical buyers, whilst also providing a more easy to skim and understand uh, view for say an executive buyer. Uh, we've included a section for 12 month goals. So there's three kind of you know, boilerplate examples here that you may wish to start with as well as an ROI calculator. So we really recommend that you include an ROI calculator in all SaaS proposals. It makes it easy for your buyer to put in different um, variables and see how they impact the pricing. So in this one, I've just got one example variable, but you can add multiple in. You can work with say RevOps or uh, sales enablement to, to kind of build out a custom calculator that uh, tweaks different uh, variables to produce um, a certain outcome that your buyer can imagine um, based on tweaking those those inputs there's some other sections in as well in terms of providing more information about how your business can help who the team is pricing and how that's structured we try to treat this like pricing tables on a website so as opposed to long tables that can get quite daunting for a buyer to, to consider um, in a you know stale PDF we try to treat this like website pricing, make it really transparent so your buyer feels comfortable and can upsell themselves with various add-ons or cross-sells too. Uh, because it's a proposal, we've also included an e-sign block. So you can go ahead and your buyers can automatically sign from this page. That means you can just have one live page uh, for every proposal that you send out, uh, as opposed to separate contracts and proposal files, which can get all very confusing across multiple email threads with different buyers. Um, and become a pain both for your buyer and the, the sellers in your business. And um, finally, some next steps and a getting started block. Let's jump into the template itself so you can see how easy it is to tweak Quilla's SaaS proposal template. So within Quilla, uh, each page is made up of a series of blocks. So in the top left, you'll see certain options that you have to style um, your blocks. And when you sign up for Quilla, you also get prompted to update your brand setup or your styling. So you can add in custom fonts and colors, and that will be applicable when you get started with a template like this. So in the top left, we can see, for example, we may wish to change this. Um, so we might wanna do a darker background. You'll see it's automatically changing uh, various parts of the design, like the, the executive summary text. It's changing that so it is clear. We may wish to move this image down below here. This is actually a two column layout that we've got at the moment. So I may wish to just do it as a single, um, as a, a one column layout. So I might wish to drop this down below. I can easily just move this around and create a different layout that might be more suitable based on some context. I have and about how I want to present this. So you can see it's very quick and easy. There's not too many styling options, um, unlike complicated InDesign files, Word documents. Um, we try to keep it really simple so that you can get deals out as, as fast as possible and not overthink the, the small stuff. Um, so that's a little bit about styling. Once you're ready to share um, your SaaS proposal with the buyer, you can go up to the right uh, and click share. You can set live and then you can copy the shareable link and that's ready to send to your prospect. So unlike um, PDFs or PowerPoints, you won't send this across as an attachment. Um, you'll just send it across as a link within your email. And because it's a live web page that your uh, prospect can browse, say for example, like over here, you'll be able to see what they're spending time on. Um, so you can see whether they're spending time on pricing or the ROI calculator. You can get a really good understanding of what's important to them um, based on where they're spending time. So that's a little bit of an overview of our SaaS proposal um, and what you should really include in a, a strong proposal for SaaS software. Um, we hope you find this helpful um, and get the most out of Quilla. Feel free to reach out to our sales or support team if you run into any challenges or want to get their feedback on a specific proposal uh, approach, would be very happy to help.